Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me for another video. We're going to show you how to set up a master node for the latest and greatest uh, privacy coin, Elko. I am really excited about Elko. This coin went up to and past a dollar and now is uh, trading around the 70 cent range. And it's tripled market um, cap in 15 days. And this is a coin that's been released basically around um, the Halloween time frame. So it's very, very new coin, but very well done. Developers are actively developing. Um, they're almost done with the new wallet. And right now you can get this for under a dollar. I really hate the word moon, so I'm not going to use that. But what's we'll to say very undervalued at this point. Some of the things that make it great because it's always about you know what what's what's the differential right what makes this better potentially right so here's a very um the current proof of work schedule so you, as you can see it's it is shifting the uh reward away from the mining over time as we get into our blocks now currently as of December 31st, we're in the 83,000 range, so we're pretty close to this change over to the block reward reduction and master node potential increase in pay. So, as a master node holder, it is good to be one. And as you can see here, here is our schedule for proof of work. Remember, we're at 83,000, so we got a lot more work to do. Um, but once we get to the proof of stake, I think this is going to be very helpful for those that don't have 10,000 Elko or cannot afford 10,000 Elko. So maybe they can stake 100 or 500, whatever they have, and at least get some residual. Um, proof of stake coins are very hot. So I think that's going to be a good bump. Some other cool features that your master node would be participating in is Elko Shroud, which is a coin and transaction mixing with uh, later updates for address masking. And then finally, going into some of the other transactions that your master node would have would be Hypersend. So that would be like an instant X, instant transfer of large sum so that we can get funds quickly overall into destination wallet and of course there's going to be updates on librio wallet uh, which could be a light client and that's actually almost done and they did some uh, snapshots on uh, twitter and discord so let's go and uh, actually set up the master node now so let's get started we just go to elco.org go to downloads and click windows or linux so we're just getting the standard qt wallet at this point now it's complete. Let's go now and create our wallet. And I'm just going to call it Master Node. I don't like MN1. It's, I guess, industry standard. I'm going to create my address. Right there we go. So I'm going to hop over to my other machine where my other wallet is. I have 10,000 already set up. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And I could do an instant X send, but the transaction chimes are like a minute. So it's really, really fantastic. Okay, now we just have to hit yes to send the transaction. The transaction fees are very, very cheap. It, if you look at that fee that based on the 30 cents value, you're looking at half a cent, half a cent, not even one cent compared to like what, $30, $40 for $3,000 worth of value. Amazing. And away they go. So let's flip on over to our masternode server now. There it is, 10,000. Okay, now I'm gonna go and just to the roaming profile, which is percent app data percent. You could also open up the wallet and under tools, there is a master node configuration file. There's two ways of doing it. I guess I'm doing it the hard way, yeah? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so once we're in there, we're gonna open up the master node config. I'm just gonna open up notepad. It is a standard text file. And then here's an example. I'm gonna, I like just copying the example and pasting it below. And since we called our wallet masternode, I'm gonna rename MN1, which is that standard I was mentioning, but I like masternode. I'm gonna go and put what my external IP is from the Vulture VPS that I set up here. And what I can do is just simply go to whatismyip.com to get that. And there is my redacted IP. I'm gonna go and copy that. Okay, now that I'm back, go ahead and paste. And I'm gonna leave the TCP port 55500 alone. Next, we'll have to do the generation key or the gen key. 
and also put in the transaction ID and the transaction ID output. So I'm just gonna rename those for for visualization for your example here. So we'll just type gen key here, perfect. And then next we'll go and do the transaction ID or just TX ID for short, there we go. Okay, don't have to do that, I'm just doing that for illustration purposes. Okay, so now we need to go back to tools and go to debug. So once we're there, we're gonna do master node gen key. Now we're gonna copy that. That is a secret private key for your master. Replace that with gen key. Next, we need the transaction ID and output. To retrieve that, we'll go to tools and debug console. And then we're gonna do a master node outputs. And there it is, that is the actual ID. So we're gonna go and copy that and also make sure ID number one and go ahead and save the config file. Next, go to tools. And what we wanna do is make sure that the master conf um, lock is set. So what I did is I set it to master node equals one, my master node private key, and this value mnconn flock equals zero. Go ahead and make sure that's added and go ahead and save. The reason that I found this as a problem is that without that, it would go into a missing state almost after about two hours, and it would even show that it was up for zero hours and zero minutes. So effectively, the master node was showing enabled, but it wasn't working. Now, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go and encrypt my wallet. I already get the backup already taken care of. Don't forget to back up, but let's put a passphrase in here real quick. Click on OK. It's going to restart the wallet once I click on yes. Or I click on OK. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and restart it. I'll take a look at the status of the master node. Right, we're going to go take a look at the master node tab. OK, see it's starting. It shows it's missing. This is what I used to have. So we definitely want to make sure we get that unlocked again there. OK, there. So now that's enabled, we're going to come back. And it's going to take 48 hours for this to burn in. So you have to wait and keep it up and running for at least 48 hours. And we'll come back in uh, two days and check it out. But you won't have to wait that long because I'm going to chop it in right now. So after three days of uh, running the master node, I have received a total of three payouts, uh, each at 40 ALCO per unit. And it's roughly about every 18 hours we're seeing these uh, this, uh, distributions. The key is also to make sure that your master node value is showing an active state that's incrementing in time. If you see zero days, zero hours, actually it would be zero hours, zero minutes, and it's enabled, it is not enabled. Uh, so double check to make sure you still have that wallet config information that we changed earlier. Um, but other than that, once you're set up, it's been pretty stable and uh, the time frames are expanding out. So maybe by the time you reach this video, the payouts might be slower. I don't know what the future holds, but this is very exciting. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it really did help out. And please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a great day.